So this income tax question. If you're single, your taxable income is between thirty-one nine hundred and seventy-seven thousand fifty. You owe four three nine three plus twenty-five percent of your taxable income over to thirty-one thousand nine hundred. Is the tax you owe a linear function of your taxable income? If the taxable income is between thirty-one nine hundred and seventy-seven thousand fifty, and if so, find a formula. Okay. So they want I to be the income uh, over uh, 31,900. And they want T to be your um, tax. And this is just the, the tax you're paying on the income over. The, oh, oh no, total tax, total tax. Because, because you already owe um, 4393 three for everything so so that's the trick see, see you owe 4393 for your income below uh, 31,900 and so so it's kind of like if you if you don't earn if you earn exactly that you don't earn anything over that your tax is just going to be four three nine three. If you earn say a um, hundred dollars over, so that would be a taxable income of thirty two thousand, right? Basically, so if you earn a hundred dollars over, you'll pay four three nine three plus twenty five percent or twenty five times. 100, right? Yeah. Right. Um, if you earn $200 over that, which is 32,100, by the way, uh, that would be 4393 plus 0 0.25 times 200. Uh, and these things work out to be, uh, so that's adding $25, which is 18, right? So I'm just going to plug it in, 4393 plus 0 0.25 times 100, 4418, and the other one would be uh, 4443 and so on. And so um, this minus this is obviously going to give us twenty-five dollars for three nine three because you see I'm just as I'm adding a hundred dollars to the taxable income I'll do another one just for fun uh, four three nine three plus zero point two five times three hundred um, which is four four and add twenty-five dollars six eight right so. Um, so, you know, as our taxable income increases by a hundred dollars each time, our tax owed is increasing by twenty-five dollars each time, right? Yeah. Which we can see here. I mean, like, like this is just you know four three nine three you know plus twenty five. Right? This is 4393 plus 50. This is 4393 plus $75. So we're adding $25. For every extra $100 in income, we're adding $25. Right? Or you guys could have, you could have, you could have done it in, you know, zero, one, two, three dollars in which case it would look like this. Uh, 4393 plus 0 0.25 times 1 which is just four three nine three plus twenty five cents, right? And two dollars over would be plus fifty cents. Four three nine three plus. And I'm just writing all this out to try to explain it more. But four three nine three plus. 75 cents. So, I mean, you could, your table could have looked like this. You go up in one. So, uh, for every extra one dollar in taxable income, we're owing, 
we're, we're having to pay an extra 25 cents, don't we? Yeah. Can you see that? So as we're earning an extra dollar, we're paying an extra 25 cents each time. So we're paying an extra 25 cents on the dollar. And that's called the marginal tax rate. And the margin is just, you know, when you earn over the 31900 and below 77000 um, your marginal tax rate is 25 cents. Okay, so your, your tax rate in this bracket, in this particular bracket, is 25 cents. Because you've, you've, you've already, and then again, this is, this is not, sorry, it's not income, it's taxable income. You've already made your deductions, right? You know, so, so you guys know when you do taxes, you know, it, it's not to say that this is your income or anything like that. It's to say that, you know, your income could be, um, I don't know, 60000 right? And then you could subtract, let's say, 20000 in deductions. Isn't that right? You, you know, the idea of taxes. So now this is your taxable income. So, so this... So, so it could be something like, and I'm just making this up, your income is 60000 you subtract deductions, like, you know, because everyone can make deductions, right? And now this is your taxable income, right? Um, and and um, so, so this is t talking about taxable income over 31900 So, So, you know... I'm going to subtract 31,900 and that gives me um, 8,100 and so uh, on this on this third on the first th so so this is my taxable income 40,000 right um, and so 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 8,100 plus 31,900 makes up my um, my, my, my taxable income of 40,000. On this, I'm paying the 4393 in tax, okay? So, so I'm, I'm paying 4393 on this amount, but on this amount, I pay uh, 25 cent, cents on the dollar. So I go uh, 0 0.25 times 8,100. Uh, let's see, clear. 0 0.25 times 8,100, and that's 2025. 2025. So I'm paying this amount of tax on the 8,100, but I've already paid this amount of tax for the 31,900, right? So, so they're different tax brackets, basically. And I add these together. I go 20, 2025 plus 4393, and I get a total tax of 681, or sorry, 6418. That's my total tax. But that's just to explain that, you know, this is not your income. It's not like if you earn a hundred dollars, you have to pay, you know, twenty-five dollars in tax. That's not how it works. You you start out with your income, then you make deductions, then you have what's called a taxable income. And you, you pay progressively higher tax rates as as your income taxable income goes up so it might start out at like eight percent and then twelve percent i can't remember what they are but but they're they're smaller and they get bigger basically right does that make sense I think so. all right yeah so if you do taxes you'll find you've got deductions and you'll find that the tax rates are progressive they start small and they go up that that's the general point all right so so in this, so for income over this amount, we're paying 25 cents on the dollar, right?